I'm seeing a divided dish. This is so 1970s retro. I love it. Hey nesters, welcome back to Nesting Haven. Today we're heading over to Goodwill. I'm going out of town. I'm actually going to a different Goodwill. We'll see if there is butter pickings there or not. So go ahead and thrift along with me and let's see what they had. This was a beautiful Namaji pottery piece. Very collectible. They were asking $20. It was a hand-picked selection. Have you ever seen these before? This book is such a fun idea. So it's a date keeper and card assortment. And this will get you pretty organized for the year. You won't miss birthday cards and anniversary cards and Christmas cards. You can write all the important dates down and keep cards in it. I think that's really cool. This is a very interesting looking clock. <laughs> it's actually a really great depiction of me when I'm around watermelon. I feel the same way. <laughs> what is that? Is that like a bunny with actual real bunny ears? Can you get that down for me? Did they glue these on or did it come that way? What is going on with this piece? $2. This is fun, right? It's hilarious. I love his little backpack. You could put like little florals in it or something. I think I'm going to get him. He's too funny. That's a pretty cool looking elephant. This is pretty. Thank you. the ponto on it. Welcome to Goodwill today. I don't know if it's Murano or not. What is going on with it? You're welcome. This doesn't have a lid, and they put a lid on it. It's just a little Pyrex mixing bowl. There's a lid on it. I just think that's so funny that they have a lid on the mixing bowl. A nice selection of some Zane Grey antique books. I found this little baby stretch vase. It is in brown. I didn't even know there were brown glassware like this, so a very cool find there at $15. I'm probably gonna grab that and add it to my collection. I love brown. Brown's my favorite color, so that was really exciting. Chewbacca, check out this guy. He's got like racing goggles on. Really cool landscape picture up there in the back. Got a little PV amp. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and toss this guy in the car. I can't leave him behind. I found a little golden book that I did not have yet. This one was put out in 1983, and it's all about dogs. It has different dog breeds in the book, so pretty cool find. My kids are obsessed with dogs right now, especially my oldest. He wants another puppy, even though we already have two. But, yeah, I love dogs, too. That was a good find. And this is kind of nice. It looks like she's praying over the harvest. I really kind of like that. What else they have in this landscape picture here? I believe it's a painting. Aw, little moose. Hi, look at this moose picture. Can you grab that for me? I want to get that. That's awesome. I love moose. That's why it's always so important to go ahead and sift through because you never know what's hiding behind. They have like the same picture back here. The frame's in a bit rougher condition, but. Where there's two copies, I'm wondering if that's like a home interiors picture. Oh, this little moose thing here. What is this? That's interesting. Oh, what is this back here? There are two of these. They look like something you would have seen in like a 90s classroom. Very cute. Little, is that a Springer Spaniel? I think is the name of that dog getting harder to sift on the top shelf here. Don't want to miss anything, if there's anything cool. I think these are just frames. Oh, this is really fun. This is a Norman Rockwell piece. It is one of four of the Freedom artwork pieces that he put out. That's pretty cool. They wanted $13 for it. I like the looks of this little flower basket picture. It's kind of like primitive, but it's modern primitive, so it's just kind of like a print. 
had a nice look to it, only $4, pretty good deal. I just don't have space for it, and I don't typically resell glass pictures like that. They had a lot of artwork at Goodwill today. I did not want to miss out on any kind of cool, cruel, or anything like that, so I took the time to go ahead and sift through them. Definitely saw some beautiful pieces. Typically, I will just look for things for myself, and they're this size, <laughs> right? This is really cool. I like this piece a lot. The flag hanging off the barn it was unfortunately scuffed up quite a bit in spots on the actual picture, but I really like that. It's a nice piece. Oh, this one has a really nice picture on it. Is that a puzzle? I think it is a puzzle glued together. My grandmother always did that. She would glue her puzzles together after she finished them. You guys ever done that before? They do make some really nice images on those. I love this poster. It's on some kind of weird board, however. If it was just the poster, I probably would have grabbed it, but the whole thing was kind of awkward. Just being a gardener, I just like the idea of having the different varieties of corn, with the different heirloom corns. I thought that was really cool. Check out this vintage game board. I love the graphics, even on the box. I believe the price was $20 on it. Plays more than 100 games. That is really cool. It's pretty scratched up, as you can see. It definitely had some years of fun. Well used. That's great. Oh, what's this? Acadia Panorama. This is a short day trip for us. We go hiking in Acadia National Park a lot, and this is a really fun find. Only $5. It just has different pictures of the area. I'll show it to my husband. See if he thinks we should grab it for $5. I think it's cool. Let's check out our first end cap here. Little avocado green base. It's nice. Might be a planter. Little bell. Nobody likes bells anymore. Always see them at thrift stores. This is cool. Mustard plant on a lamp. I like it. Ten bucks. This is so cool. A faith like as small as a mustard seed. I like this. I can snag it. That's cool. Going to check out the tins here. I am seeing this really cool vintage one. This is nice. It has the tart and plaid on it. Little chocolates. Five dollars they're asking on it. Edinburgh, Scotland. This is nice. I feel like you could put some cards in it for storage. Display it for Christmas. I've seen smaller versions of this before. I actually have one. I either have one or I sold it. <laughs> I do remember having this before in a smaller tin. A little singer. It's not in bad shape. We'll see what the inside looks like. I'm probably going to grab those too. I really like the looks of this one as well. A little bit of a dent in it. I really like this. It's cool. Well, let's see what else is there. It's this guy. Kind of pretty. I like the oranges. Let's see if there's anything up there. Not finding any potpourri press tins today, but I love tins. So I'm kind of down in the crafting area, and I spied these cute little pictures in the basket. Little raccoons. Got a fox on this one. Little deer. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine these framed up? How fun are these? Only $2 a piece here. Those are great. Let's check out and see what these plates are here. I like looking at the little collector's plates, looking for state souvenir plates or anything kind of fun for the wall. A candle here with a buck on it. Where's this guy? Looks like a souvenir. Ooh, Cape Cod. 
Usually when I find these, they are almost always Washington, D.C. So that's phenomenal. I love going to Cape Cod. So this is a really fun piece for me. All right, so let's go ahead and continue to look at the Nicky Knacks. Got some kind of a lamb candle there. This is a modern piece, a cute little farmer boy and his horse. An Avon. It's an empty box. I like the box though. For the graphics on that. <laughs> I wonder if this guy here was supposed to go inside in the yellow hat. Check this out. This is pretty cool. A fifth Avon anniversary plate. The Greek oak, which is representing the growing success of the company. So from their fifth year. I'm not even sure to say the date of the Avon. I'm not sure when their fifth anniversary was, but that's really cool. This is kind of an interesting souvenir piece, a pin cushion. Interesting. Got some happy seals. They are one of the funnest animals. Have you guys ever seen them? They're so playful. Unfortunately, this was pretty cracked. I would have snagged it otherwise. I love seals. What's this back here? The florals caught my attention. The butterfly was broken on the top. So we'll pass on that. This is so darling. It is a hobbyist piece. You got the little spring chicks with the eggs. How fun would this be for Easter decor? Only two dollars? It kind of has a metallic paint to it. I really like that. Wow, this is beautiful. Somebody hand painted this piece. I assume it's supposed to be like Holly Hobby-esque. They did an unbelievable job on this. Got a little backing on it. How fun. It's so cool. I love the colors to it too. Great for a little plate wall. All right, so let's go ahead and check out some of the dishes. I don't know what this is for. It's like a really large egg. Maybe it's for like an ostrich egg or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably just for dip. What is this guy? Looks like quality. Love the brown. Oh, it's Meekin. Awesome. Meekin's a really good brand. Four dollars. That's a pretty good deal. All right. What else do they have? Nothing catches my eye here. Ooh, I'm seeing a divided dish. This is so 1970s retro. I love it. This opalware. Kind of scratched up, unfortunately, on the inside. I love it, though. How great. All right, so let's go ahead and check out some of the items I picked up today. So, it was pretty cool. There was a lot. I feel like the store was a lot bigger than my local one, which was nice. And I had a little bit more to sift through, so it's good to see new things. So let's just start out with the best find of the day, right? I was so excited to get this swung vase or stretched vase, whatever you want to call it. I believe this type is actually technically stretched. The swung one would be more like this, and it wouldn't be as uniform. So I believe this type, they would pull like this, and that's called stretched. They had this in the hand pick section for $15, and I was happy to pay that price for it because I love brown it is my favorite color and I have a nice little swung vase stretch vase kind of different colors and shaped little glass collection above on my hutch there I don't have any brown glass and I wasn't even certain that it existed it might be a little challenging to figure out it's kind of like rainbow affied up there so I gotta figure out where exactly it's gonna fit in on the spectrum there, um, but I'm very happy to add this to my collection. Obviously, it's gonna look really good with my 70s decor. I'm not really a lamp person, but I absolutely love this lamp with the mustard tree on here. And then also have the detail at the back. I think it'll look really nice with my decor. I'm going to have to find some type of a shade for it, but... I think it is worth the effort. Isn't that beautiful? They had $10 priced on this and I think it was well worth it. I'm really excited about this find. 
I couldn't help myself. I had to pick up this a weird little bunny. I thought he was so fun. It would be perfect for Easter, obviously, but I just think he's so quirky. I loved him so much. He does seem to be a more modern piece, but I don't know. He was just bringing me joy. I thought he was hilarious, so I had to pick him up, right? They had $2 on him, and I'll probably wait to resell this closer to Easter time, but I think it'll be a fun addition to my sales. This is the little golden book I picked up of the dogs. It did come out in 1983. They had 95 cents on it, and like I said, they kind of highlight different dog breeds in it, which I thought was really cool. So my kids are really into dogs right now, and it'll be interesting to kind of teach them about the different breeds that, you know, are out there. They always see different dogs and are curious about it. So I thought this was a really nice book. And I did not have this in my golden book collection for the boys. So very happy about that. But like I asked, I'm curious what your favorite dog breed is or what you currently might have for a dog. I have two French Mastiff mixed dogs. They're actually mixed with Pug, which is, you know, an unusual mix, but they're kind of a larger dog for sure. Kind of like that Turn and Hooch movie. That's the type of dog I have, but it's mixed with a Pug, so it's a little bit smaller. So yeah, I'd be interested to know what you guys have. This was so well painted, I could not resist it. I love anything kind of prairie cottagey looking and obviously this is probably like a holly hobby kind of nod to her but i just thought it was gorgeous two dollars i couldn't resist it love the colors obviously it looks very 1970s and i'm considering trying it out on my floral wall i, t I just have the florals right now the stoneware plates but on the opposite side i think some of you guys have seen my kind of hutch wall there i have it's kind of like, I consider it handmade stuff. So I have cruel embroidery. I have a couple of paintings there. I try not to do anything that is like a print, right, on that side. And I think this might help tie in the two walls. I'm gonna try it. I think it's interesting and really beautiful. And I couldn't pass it by for $2. Randomly, it seemed to be a lot of Easter items there today at Goodwill, and this was another item I couldn't pass by. Just so cute, right? The little chicks, so fun. They have little oak leaves down here, which kind of helps it be able to transition a little bit longer than Easter, I think. So, you know, definitely a spring and maybe even fall leaves just remind me of fall time. I mean, it's technically a green leaf, but I don't know, kind of just seeing leaves reminds me of the fall, but so cute. Nice little hobbyist piece for $2 and a nice metallic paint. So precious, right? So we'll be saving that to resell for around Easter time as well. You guys know I love me some state souvenir pieces. I like to collect them and pick them up to resell as well. I got this beautiful Cape Cod glass bowl here and we like to visit there the Plymouth and Cape Cod area so this was really fun I'm gonna probably keep this for my collection because you know it means something to me so but only two dollars on this piece which I thought was a phenomenal deal and I was very excited to find this So I got three different tens. Their first one I picked up was this really adorable farm tin. It features so many great things. As a homesteader, it just really brought me a lot of joy and I was like, I have to get this. It was only $2. There's a small dent in the lid there, but it's pretty minor, so I don't mind it at all, but it has like beehives and cows and ducks and pigs and lamb. Got roosters and apples and sunflowers. It's it's very well rounded and represents the farm life well. So very cool find. I was so happy with that. I also picked up this really beautiful Singer sewing machine tin. It has these really beautiful, colorful colors on the side here. It's almost like rainbow fied, but not quite. It's kind of, you know, very leaning towards more of the purples and pinks, but such a nice tin and like I said I did I did or do either have the smaller version of this so just so fun I love the colors to it and they had two dollars price on that a really great deal 
people like to use these obviously to store their buttons and threads and whatnots in, but such a good one there. I really like that. And the last tin I got because I do have a lot of Scottish heritage as well as my husband and I just couldn't resist it. It's a cute little Christmas tin here. I love the size to it. I thought this would be really nice to store Christmas cards in. And it has a little hinge there, so it actually, you know, the top stays on, which is a nice feature. So, kind of just opens like that, which I really love. So we got the tartan plaid, it features Edinburgh Castle. Got these really cute chocolate graphics here. And it just says Duncan Chocolate Assortment. I'm not sure the age to this but it does appear to be quite old. They did have $5 on this because, I mean, obviously they, they knew it was cool as well and very happy with this. It says it was made in Great Britain, so very fun. It'll look really cool for a Christmas display as well. We did end up picking up the Acadia National Park panorama photo book here. It's just, you know, something we enjoy. We enjoy going there quite often. And at only $5, I thought it'd be a nice like little coffee table book. You don't quite get the scenery in the winter time as much. You know, everything's covered in snow and ice. So really fun to look at. And maybe there'll be a few places we haven't been featured in here that we can go check out. So these next things, I'm not exactly sure what they are. I'm not seeing an artist signature on them. So I gotta look them up still. I just thought they were really adorable and would be so fun framed up and I couldn't pass them by. So at $2 a piece, they are double sided and there is like a card stark or something in between of it. So I think you can get two for one money in it. Let's see, let's go ahead and pull it out. Oh, it's like sealed though. Mm. Let me check it out, I'm curious. We'll check, we'll open one up and check it out and make sure that is what it is. <laughs> Yes. All right, so I can tell that they are separated there. So there are two pictures in one. So this side, we got the turtle with the squirrel, a couple of birds there. And it's the same, but it's a little bit different with the turtle and the squirrels kind of down there on that side. So aren't these gonna be so cute framed if you're doing like a little woodland themed nursery or something like that. That's just kind of what came to my mind. I thought these were so precious. And then this one, we got the owls on this side. And then the cute little raccoons. So fun, right? I wish there was an artist signature on this so I could, you know, know a little bit more about the pieces, but this one is so fun. Probably my favorite. It has the fox on it, but then the little fawn and deer, I love that one there. So, $2 a piece for those, and I probably will be reselling those. I gotta kinda figure out what I'm doing with them exactly, but I was not leaving those behind. They were so fun. But that's going to do it for my Goodwill Thrift Along With Me and haul today. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to let me know in the comments what item I picked up today that was your favorite, or if you saw anything in the store you would have picked up, I'd be glad to hear about it. And yeah, so we'll catch you in the next one. Make sure you're subscribed so you can see the next one, all right? We'll see you then. Bye.